What? Yeah, that's the stream Strong intro. Um, uh -oh. <laughs> hello, people. Stop Strong it! Stop! Hey, everybody! Target. Welcome back to Powers Productions. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Rudy. I'm one of the listeners today. We're also joined by four <laughs> other people. Let's go down the line. Jacob, say hello. Hi, I'm the one telling the story. That's him. We also have Merrick. Hello. And we have Granger. Hi. And then we have Norman. I'm still trying to look for that streamer. Don't. don't. Stop. Stop. But you have a story to listen to. You're obligated. Stop it. Focus, child. Focus. So wait, I can't be playing Minecraft while I tell the story? No. You really can't. Now, now, fucking! I was about to say, play the Minecraft. No, tell the story. Play the Minecraft. Stop it! <laughs> Stop! It was an accident. I wish there was a Minecraft boot sound that I could just play, but there isn't. So what's our story to tell today, is Jacob? I already said that. Oh, what's the story? I already said that, but that you was didn't say it yet. <laughs> Off recording, you know what I mean. Oh, it was off recording. Let's go. Well, the name of my story is the team building. The team building. Uh, I put it's team part... building. I mean, it's either one. It doesn't matter. Uh, it's part two of the series, the trilogy, which I haven't actually thought of a name for the trilogy yet. But it's part two. First one was the cruise. Mm hmm. So, I mean, the easier choice would be to go watch that than have me recap it in a very short paragraph. But I'm going to recap it in a very short Call paragraph anyway. Wild Water Willies. <laughs> no. Granger, I'm going to give you a Wild Water Willy if you don't shut your goddamn mouth. Fuck, no. <sighs> they banned those. So I've heard. But you'll get the worst of it. You don't... No. Shut up. Jacob, tell me the recap paragraph. Okay. This story is going to pick up directly after the events of The Cruise. However, here's a very quick refresher. Vaughn has gathered Rudy, Granger, Jacob, Merrick, Tommy, Norman, Brian, and Nico together on a cruise for an attempt at re reconciling, that's not right, reconciling their issues and moving forward as friends again. In order to do this, he has bought out a ship and customized it for everyone to have a good stay. Additionally, he has set up team building exercises for the group to be, for the group's to do in hopes that this will help them come together as friends. What kind of team building exercises are they? We're about to find Hold out. On. These events will begin on the second day of On the Water, which is right where we are picking up. Those, the, the team building is what this entire story is. That's what. That's why it's called the team building. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but is there golf, like Norman said? Is there golf? I think that's what you said, right? Why do you say it like that? Golf. Golf? Uh, <laughs> is there golf? Well, is it the, the Gulf of Mexico around there? You know how you yeah, gulp? Right. Like, gulp? <laughs> it's I, gulp? I know what a gulf is. I know what a golf is. I don't know what a <laughs> gulf is. Gulp? <laughs> In terms of sports. My bad. <laughs> you didn't say it wrong, Granger. It was Jacob. We're making oh. fun of me. Oh. <laughs> I was You're fine. Informed. It's okay. Nobody told you anything. Shut up, Granger. Okay. Um... Also, just extra tidbit. The last one ended with everyone going to sleep. Mm -hmm. Okay. That, that also helps for me. the record. Sharply at 10 a.m., each room's alarm went off, signaling them all to wake up. Every single one of them hit the snooze button, and each were told, in turn, by the alarm clocks, that they only get two more two snoozes per day. What? None of them were really bothered, but what? What the fuck? <laughs> uh, none of them were bothered by that, as they all just wanted to get some more sleep. What kind of fucking dystopian shit is this? What happens if I hit it two more times? <laughs> Granger, don't worry. You find out. Oh, <laughs> I mean. <laughs> You're not the only one. I have a feeling no. it's going to be me, considering my terrible sleeping patterns. Uh, most go back to sleep quickly, and the rest follow up shortly. At 10.10, the alarms sound again and ever again. Everyone snoozed, as this is the- uh, And this time, the clock told them that they were now out of snoozes. With that- <laughs> So it lied the first time? The no, hell? that was the first snooze being used. Oh, okay. I see. 
two snoozes per day. Is this like a fucking? That sounds like a video game mechanic. Are, are we trapped in the Matrix right now? Yeah. Oh shit! Don't worry, Tommy turns into Black Neo. It'll be great. Oh thank well, God! Probably, See, I was really worried that I, was, I heard that about that in the books. I was really hoping that would be transferred into the movie. <laughs> this is definitely just a book, if anything. We're also huh? about to get our fingers broken for the third time we hit it. It's gonna like snap like a bear trap on our fucking hands. Dude, I hope so. I don't need my fingers. Okay. <laughs> With that, they were out of snoozes, and they all went back to sleep. Then it hit 1020. A soft click would have been heard if anyone had been awake to hear it. The headboards of each bed began to rise, slowly at first, but gathering speed, until after about 10 seconds the bed had raised to 10 the bed, to 20 degree angle, like 20 degrees higher than night, so 110. <laughs> Uh, wow, that was the worst way to put it. Absolutely yeah, the worst. Because I wrote twenty degree angle and then realized that would people would have thought that they were like inverted, and I didn't think that through at the time. <laughs> I should have said raised by twenty degree angle instead of at two a twenty degree. That's fine. You get the point. Uh, I don't uh, think I do. Would... Are we like up twenty degrees? Is the bed twenty degrees? Like versus yeah, the headboard more... has raised twenty degrees. Like you, the bed is now at an angle. Of tw- no, fuck, 20 degrees off the ground was right. I don't know. They okay, raised. I get it now. I get the it back now. of the bed raised, the bottom of the bed stayed in place. So I'm in a it's... hospital bed now. Precisely. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Uh, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> Who the God. fuck is clacking so much? I fucking hear it and it's pissing me off. <laughs> I'm softly nibbling on popcorn occasionally, but I'm pretty sure you're talking about Norman. I asked, but I already know who it was, Merrick. Oh, okay. Quit your fucking clacking. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Back to your regularly scheduled program. <laughs> Everyone was awake by now, except for Granger. Oh, boy. <laughs> that boy was asleep. Yeah. Why is he asleep? I was, I was running the only too hard one. eating saltines. <laughs> yeah, he's pooped. He's the only one that wakes up at, like, a regular time. Yeah, no, but he's the one who gets fucked. <laughs> <laughs> he wakes up normally. Doesn't mean he wakes up to his bed slowly rising. I guess not. <laughs> uh, the majority of the people had rolled out of bed before it was too late. Only two remained. Granger, who had only just started to stir at this point, and Norman. Granger only woke up oh, proper what? I don't want to think about this. Granger only woke up properly once he was being flung out of the bed. Because after the 10 seconds it sped up and basically catapulted you. <laughs> do you uh do you want to care to elaborate why split was Oh, and he's split second, away? don't worry. Okay. Here we go. Uh, you were flung from the bed and landed softly on the mat below with a surprised thud. Uh, hey, Grange, you remember that one time I asked you to make a pain noise and then you went, ah, but different? Mm-hmm. Do that again. Ah, but different. I fucking hate you so much. <laughs> Granger cried out. What the? <laughs> Cut to Norman. Fuck! He exclaimed as he was too oh, lazy man. to get out of bed and was thrown onto the mat below just like Granger. What? So he wasn't masturbating. No, he was just lazy. Okay. <laughs> it sounds like normal. Yeah, that's a relief. Uh, with that, Granger got up and got ready. <clears throat> While Norman, on the other hand, decided that the mat was soft enough to fall back asleep on. <laughs> that sounds like me. Yet another mistake on his part, as his mat worked much like his bed and catapulted him back into his bed. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the hell? Is this just gonna juggle you? <laughs> This yeah. is a fucking high tech ship. Move. <laughs> Norman, putting together that this would just keep happening, rightfully so, decided to finally get up and get himself ready for the day. Well, that's not that is not like me. I would have just gone up and stuck in the floor. Yeah, then the floor would have eaten you or some shit. I don't <laughs> know. The floor would have <laughs> broken your fingers. You would have just been tied to the anchor. And just the alarm would have bear trapped you, like I said. <laughs> Uh, a message came over the intercom saying that everyone could go and enjoy their rooms until lunch at 12.30. 
That's right, everyone. You get to hear each person's customized rooms. Here we wow. go. Everyone. Because I know you're dying to know. Yeah. All right. You've already heard Jacob's archery room, Ranger's yeah. treadmill room, and Rudy's yeah. swimming room, what a wonderful and Nico's room. flight simulator room. Mm -hmm. Now for me to list out everyone else's room. Let's start with Merrick. Oh. His room. <laughs> <laughs> the maple syrup fountain. <laughs> oh yeah, baby! Wow! <laughs> Fully equipped with waffles and pancakes. Wow! Additionally, the there's a top-of-the-line gamer chair that isn't even broken. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy's room is just a room with screens all Does the way Mary around. Get, like, <laughs> A fucking super <laughs> deluxe custom vape rig like the one that HBH3 oh, yeah. had. Yes! Fuck The yeah. one that's just like a b fucking backpack that goes on his back that just fucking... <laughs> no, there's no smoking aboard the ship. Oh, Dude, okay. you wanna- here, I'll hit a fat- I'll hit a fat rip in honor of that idea. Uh... Oh my god. Merrick, there's no smoking on the ship. Oh yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I still don't think he caught it. You didn't Tommy's give me room. the H3H3 H3 cough, oh. I don't like it. Oh, okay, okay. No, don't do it. Fuck. Oh. <laughs> there we See, go. This is your fault, Cringer. Smoking kills, kids. <laughs> don't don't smoke, please. Or vape. Don't Tom? do any of that. Yeah. Or drink don't alcohol do either. Because your brain cells. I, I, yep. Don't, don't do go outside. One. It kills your skin cells. Yeah. <laughs> don't get melanoma, kids. Yeah. No, it's continue, Jacob. Oh, is my turn again? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy's room is just a room with screens all the way around, and they are all showing bad news, except for one small one in the corner showing good news. <laughs> is it is it is it padded as well, like a completely padded room? No, it's screens. How would they be padded? It's know, padded dude. screens. Wait. So Pat, is yeah. this like the Dark Knight fucking Batman room? Like the <laughs> except it's even more negative. But like. The walls and floors and everything is just screwed. How the fuck do no, you no, the floors. The walls oh. are. The floors are padded. I said walls. So the floors, yeah. Now he so just gets yeah. one swivel chair in the middle. Like carpet. It's just nice, comfy, comfy <laughs> carpet for him to sit on and cry. <laughs> I feel like Tommy would definitely be scared of getting cancer from that many screens. Oh my god. <laughs> Guys. Damn. So anyway, in the corner, there's one small one showing good news. But he couldn't be bothered to look at that when there was the spiraling hole of bad news that could be, be that, that he could be sucked into instead. Wow. <laughs> Brian's room was 90% full of My Little Pony plushies for him to play with. <laughs> Excuse me? With the remaining 10% of the room being a shrine to Rudy for him to admire and swim in. Oh, no! Oh, oh no! <laughs> I feel like I'm a little bit left out on all this. I also feel like we're I, we could get sued for libel, but that's fine. <laughs> slander, slander. This is not. Uh, right. uh, well, if Jacob ever p fucking published that fucking hey, this party is ass, that's fiction. <laughs> yeah, who's Brian, dude? Uh, you mean Brian? Uh, uh, Rush Martinez, Rush. the other guy that we know. <laughs> You know the disclaimer like, on like the Martin. beginning of like Robot Chicken that um any persons used in this who resemble real persons are yeah. just coincidence. That's a disclaimer yeah. for this story. Uh, there you go. Halfway through. <laughs> Rudy, do you remember Brian Martinez's famous saying? Is that for the assault rifle? Yes, I do remember that. <laughs> well, what a guy! Gosh, yeah. he never he never listened. Wow. Well, well, I mean, he always no, listened. He sometime listened. <laughs> Bond's room had some of the world's top-of-the-line fence sitting. Wow! <laughs> it's just like a hundred fences. Yeah. <laughs> and also Smash Bros. Brawl. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, 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 ew! Not to mention no, a whole Ultimate's bunch of. Ultimate's out now, so he's moved on to four. Pro so that's sure. Yeah. <laughs> Not to mention a whole bunch of uh, rich white people stuff. You know, because he's rich now. Oh yeah, yeah. no kidding. All the fences are plated with gold. I feel like I missed someone, but 
I feel like I think I'm good. I'm down to one, and yeah, okay. I think that's it though. You're good. Yeah, the last one's Norman. Yeah. Mm hmm. And okay. And lastly, there's Norman, whose room could be synopsized into one word: <laughs> anime. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm surprised. <laughs> I'm very surprised. <laughs> There's only one thing that stands out from the rest of the room, and it's an arcade-style game of Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege, but with a keyboard and mouse. Really weird. I know. <laughs> okay. I really want to see Split be like, fucking junk rat in Rainbow Six Siege with, like, fucking Street Fighter controls. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's, it's full keyboard and mouse on strings, so he can't rip them out. Wow. Oh, oh, for when he gets angry from the fucking bloom. Yeah. The fucking bloom! <laughs> <laughs> Love that, Norman. Norman. That, that was a problem in Siege a while ago. It might still be, I don't know. Bloom? Bloom was never a problem, I think. Bloom, we just heard him saying Fortnite. Yeah, he said oh. the Fortnite for <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm talking about when you couldn't see through windows, dude, because it was too damn bright. Uh, oh. Bloom is spread on a gun. Oh. Yeah, something like that. I have no Norman. You you were really good at noticing mechanics. I don't notice. Bloom's like game mechanics. Right? your spray, and, you know Fortnite, where it basically keeps in your crosshair, but it keeps going up and up, and the crosshair keeps getting bigger and bigger. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. But, Anyways, let's go story. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm telling. Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah. Everyone enjoyed their rooms up until the time where lunch was being served. All gathered for lunch in the dining hall. Are we like not allowed to leave our rooms? Are we what just prisoners? No, you can do whatever the fuck you want. So we're all just. Do you like, want to leave that room? <laughs> yeah, no. What if I Dude, want to talk to one of like you a... two? Because I fucking live halfway across the planet and don't get that much FaceTime. Uh, uh nah. You and my anime body pillows. Halfway, yeah. <laughs> halfway across. The okay, it's a little hyperbole, but still. Well, you have to understand. In <laughs> it's this, it's not a short distance. In, in this universe, is the only place on Earth. Exactly. Granger, in this you universe, know what I'm shut up. Shut. Sh you're Canadian. You're not allowed to say it. <laughs> in this universe, what? We're in this universe. We all like hang out with each other, like. Normally, remember in the beginning? Yeah, you were just with us at the beginning. Yeah. So, wow. I mean, I don't really want to see your ugly mug whenever I have a big old streaming setup, okay? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we could have gone and streamed with him in the room. Like, I'm not saying we were in no, our room. No, I was too time. enamored with my treadmill and saltines to leave my fucking <laughs> Hey, don't forget there's Hearthstone on that treadmill. Oh, yeah. Damn, wait. Wait, 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 <laughs> What's up? There's no loggers, yeah. though. No. no, there's no loggers. No. Only water. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a gerbil. Like... My life. I'm glad I didn't leave. <laughs> it's like a gerbil water tap on the treadmill. You can oh. only use it when you're in the treadmill. If you're thirsty, you've got to get back on. <laughs> also, the treadmill's just a hamster wheel. <laughs> Grange is actually the one powering the whole ship. <laughs> <laughs> it's just actually like a hamster's cage. There's just a bowl of salt oh, that's on the ground. I didn't leave. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's so good. good. <laughs> All right. Uh, once in the dining hall, everyone noticed one large change since they had last been there. It had changed from multiple tables to one large circular table in the oh, center God, of the room. No. Lord have mercy. Human interaction, no. Give me my treadmill back. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> Upon noticing this, everyone turned an exasperated look towards Vaughn. Really? And just, just about everyone in the group asked, Yes, it will help us bond, he said. Well, was it a very exercise? Uh, There's none yet. Sit at a table to get patience. <laughs> he said confidently, after a long and awkward lunch of quite a bit of bickering, it was almost time for the first team building exercise split. What is it? Everyone <laughs> gathered on one of the lower levels for the first exercise. The first thing being done for team building 
is paintball. <gasps> no. That sounds. No. No. <laughs> Me and Brian Martinez did paintball once and we lost horribly, so (laughs) (laughs) I can't imagine it's going to change this time. All right. Since there were nine people in the group, it's being broken. He said poncho and then he said, what is what? What is that? What are you you even saying? Mm -hmm. Did you say that? That that exact thing happened. I'm surprised you know about that. Wow. That's crazy. (laughs) All right. Since there are nine people in the group, it is being broken into three teams of three. The teams are divided as such. What the fuck? Three teams of three. Oh, boy. This is not going to go well. (sighs) On the green team, there's Jacob, Brian, and Norman. On the red team, there's Rudy, Nico, and Marie. Merrick. (laughs) I, just, I don't know why looking he at it, it makes me wrong. say the name wrong. You that said. Me. <laughs> Hello. Hey, buddy. We've known coming? each other for like at least four months. Like I days. said, reading it, it's so much harder to say because it's four just five married e. Four it's weeks, he said. Spelt. What? <laughs> anyway, on the blue team, there's Granger, Bon, and Tommy. The game that they are playing, deathmatch. Oh, uh, well, ho- is- hold! We're gonna kill each other. <laughs> We're yeah, yeah. balling to the death. Yeah, it's a war of attrition, boy. Uh, fuck. Yeah, sure. <laughs> has a good time and just yeah, man. <laughs> be sure to aim for the eyes and throat. That's probably the quickest. You hit what them in the throat, throat, that maybe impairs their breathing and they die faster. How how many points for a cock and ball shot? <laughs> no points. You do it to the death. God damn it! It's literally oh. just one shot is dead. It's not actually Merit. killing. Oh, so we're using real guns. <laughs> no, so it's absolutely fucking ball, ball shot. Idiot. Oh. So wait, who was on red team again? I forgot. Is me red Merrick? Red team is Rudy, Nico, oh! and Merrick. <laughs> Merrick, if you drag this team down, I'm just going to get rid of you. Okay. <laughs> no, no, okay. Everyone I'll kill you myself. Starting points I'll shoot you with arena. a gun, dude. I Everyone. have a feeling green team's gonna win. Everyone. Because there's the least amount of bickering on that one, I think. Wait, what was... Oh. Uh, Norman. Norman. Are you even listening to this story? I'm not, because I, I, I didn't remember the colors. Okay. Green team is right. you, Jacob, uh, yeah, yeah. Brian. Brian. You, you said green. I was like, wait, who's on green team again? I don't remember. Wait, I'm, I'm the same team with Jacob and Vaughn. I was like, Brian. Green, so he's probably putting himself on green. Not okay. on Brian. Oh, my bad, Brian. Okay, everyone is brought to their starting points in the circular arena. It's like a circle, and there's three points evenly divided on it, and those are the home bases. Everyone picture that? Yeah. And then in the middle, there's, like, different barriers and obstacles and, like, walls to hide behind, climb, or use in any other ways that the team find worthwhile. Each individual person has been equipped with a weapon, uh, with their preferred ranged weapon. Um, like, debatably. I just kind of took some liberties. Don't yell at me if I'm wrong. I will yell at you if I'm wrong. (laughs) Jacob a bow. Rudy a double barrel shotgun. (laughs) Granger a bolt action rifle. Completely wrong, mind you. Shut up. Brian a sniper (laughs) rifle. Vaughn a pump shotgun. Nico a revolver, Tommy a burst submachine gun, Merrick a burst assault rifle, okay. and Norman with two pistols. Okay. Wow. I didn't want to give anyone shotguns with paintballs. You, you know. Play. You'll figure out. How do you do a bow? Uh... <laughs> you just you put a put paintbrush paint at the end. On the end. <laughs> yeah, paintbrush. Just legitimately super painful. You're a fucking. You're an angel like, at that like, point. It's like mm-hmm. a hundred fifty pound bow, just straight to the fucking chest. No, that's probably uh, like uh, fifty at most. What, what can I just just, get just a little nuke? bit of paint, and you actually just break the. Why can I just get a tactical nuke with the twenty five kush you already have? Yeah. So if this is to the death, I'm gonna say Jacob's probably gonna win. Norman, the only. <laughs> The only what do you mean I wrote fucking the story I made myself when Granger. Shut up! Oh. <laughs> what? Well, I'm just saying your bow. I'm just saying your bow has the ability to kill people. 
as opposed to the rest of ours. Well, it's team deathmatch, so it's whatever team is left standing. Fair enough. <laughs> All right. The countdown began, and as soon as the starting buzzer went off, a whole lot of things happened. Wait, hold on. What did Tommy get again? Submachine gun. What did I get? Okay. What? Norman? Well, you got two pistols. Gun. You got two pistols, dude. Alright, wow, would you look at that? They've swapped. <laughs> what? What? That's crazy, okay, well, isn't can that? I get the burst assault rifle then? No. God damn it. Fuck you, you. That's for me. Can I get. <laughs> yeah. I'm the real Batista. No! Can, I get, can I get my giant hamster wheel you said like Batiste running? Was bad. Like on the. But like with paint on it? <laughs> I wish. I wish, but it's important that you have the balls action for this story. Oh, fair enough. Uh, no offense, but Norman and Tommy aren't, and you'll see why very shortly. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. So the buzzer went off, and a whole lot of things happened. On the red team, Nico immediately shot Rudy in the back and followed yeah. it up with, Get fucked, loser. Yeah. <laughs> Rudy sighed and shot him in return. And Nico <laughs> saw his error. Great. Yeah. <laughs> I, I love it. <laughs> Merrick looked between the two of them inside and said to himself, said to them, I guess I'll try and win then. Nico then turned and shot him in the back. <laughs> 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 wow! What the fuck, like Nico? <laughs> Nico, uh, I don't sounds, even know you! This sounds perfectly <laughs> accurate. Don't worry, here's his explanation. Yeah? That's for being Rudy's friend. Oh, that's, okay. for, that's, that's for being Rudy's friend. Yeah. <laughs> fuck you! <laughs> uh -huh. Well, I guess that's us out of, the, out of it then, Rudy said. On the blue team, Bon and Granger were ready to get started, and Tommy was sitting down at the back, <laughs> and he said he was too afraid to step out of the base, so the other two had to try and coax him out of the base. After a good minute of trying, and Tommy saying he was too afraid of being shot, Granger was fed up with it and shot him. <laughs> <laughs> this, is so <laughs> this is so <laughs> fucked. This is so fucked. I don't think any of us would actually do this shit. Drama that happens in the green base, just for the record, but we'll get there soon. Oh boy, here we go. Alright, all here's does. the slight alteration I have What's to make the, because the Norman's drama changed weapons. What's in Green Base? What? what? You'll see. What is, um, Norman just say fucking Junkrat? He mistakes Jacob for Junkrat? <laughs> 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 Alright, so here's the small change. Uh, since Tommy now has two pistols instead of an SMG, uh, Granger then removed his guns. So he didn't try to sabotage them. Okay. As for the green team, Brian had turned his sniper rifle onto Norman and shot him in the chest right as the game began, what? proclaiming that it was for Nico, and started to turn the gun onto Jacob. Much to Brian's dismay, Jacob saw that coming, so he grabbed the gun before he could point it at him and headbutt him, knocking him out and taking his gun. Jesus fuck! <laughs> God! This is not Gosh. team building at all! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> just legitimately killing each other now, okay. Yeah, but it's Brian, so I could have, like, just flicked his head and it would have done the same thing. Damn! Yeah, you could have headbutt near him and the wind would have knocked him over and killed him. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Sorry, Norman. Maybe next time you won't be so keen to try that again. But you can at least shoot him to mark him out, Jacob said, taking the sniper rifle and putting the bow over his chest while Norman did just that. <laughs> Got him. Jacob walked out and took up a sniping part, perch not far from their base and waited. He saw Bon and Granger moving out from the blue base and fired a shot. I love made... how it's actually just a 1v2 now. Everybody's just dead. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> That's changing like that. No, um, Nico got shot by Rudy. But Rudy's yeah. already out. Yeah, that doesn't yeah, matter. He's still he covered in paint. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Nico then shot Merrick. Again? Again? Uh, no, he shot, he shot you the first, like, after oh, oh, he was okay. shot. No, he's yeah. explaining what happened. Yeah. Um, I thought I thought I Nico was just a bigger dick than I thought he was. No, he's just sitting there shooting you while you're dead already. Okay, y'all are done playing. You're out of the arena. It's just he's shooting you. I don't see. I was just fighting him at that cock. point. <laughs> Bro, square up there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Jacob walked out and took up a sniping perch not far from the base and waited. He saw Bond and Granger moving out of the blue base and fired the shot and made direct contact with Bond's chest. 
dropping oh, the snuff no! rifle. <laughs> dropping the snuff <laughs> rifle and pulling his bow off his chest, moving forward, bow and arrow ready. He headed out to meet for what all he could tell everyone but Fawn. What he didn't know was that he was only going to head Hunga da, 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 da. He was only going head to head with Granger. Granger, a little cautiously, looked over the barrier and saw the drop sniper rifle and decided it was safe enough to move forward a little. He, like Jacob, thought he was about to be faced with a lot more competition. Passing out from cover at nearly the same time, the two let their shots fly while dodging back into cover. Both missed their marks by no more than six inches. They each loaded their next shot and fired with just about the same amount of success, except this time each shot was down to mere two inches off. They stayed behind cover this time. Stayed behind cover longer this time and only peeked out to see if there was any movement from the red. And bleh, they both peeked out to see if there was any movement from the red arena. I spoke too much. Yeah. Uh, what, was, what was Brian's reason for shooting me, Nico? It's for Nico. Who's for oh. Nico? That's what he shouted for Nico, because he wanted what? Nico to win. Man, <laughs> I wanted Our Norman. Rudy. I wanted Norman to say some Stop. Spanish wrong and then just get shot. <laughs> <laughs> we would go, "Vamos, mis amigos." He'd be like, "What'd you say? What'd you fucking say?" <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. Um, they stayed behind cover a little longer to peek out and see the red side of the arena. Each of them figured that Rudy and Nico argued and shot each other, and Merrick was caught in the middle, rightfully so. The Granger decided to take yeah. up a sharp shooting position on the edge of the barrier. I said Granger, not Jacob, right? Yeah. yeah. You said Granger. Okay. And Jacob decided to sneak around to the red side of the arena, cautious to make sure he wasn't wrong about Rudy and the others. After he was confident he was safe, Jacob peeked out and could see Granger's barrel of his barrel sticking out from his position. Jacob then slid out of cover and shot an arrow across to cut through the middle of the field and draw Granger's attention with it. He was already running when he fired the arrow to get the line of view off of him. He got into sight with his ex next arrow already knocked, drew back, aimed, and released in a matter of a second. The arrow flew and struck home, catching Granger just past the, his rifle in the left side of his chest. I'm dead with now. That, with that, the winning buzzer rang. After hearing, after heading in, Jacob and Granger found everyone else sitting at screens watching the events unfold. <laughs> everyone congratulated Jacob on the shot, except for Nico and Brian. Cool. Brian was still nursing a slight concussion, and Nico just spat, fucking Luxman. How <laughs> does a paintball ball work? Uh, we With an arrow. said that we don't magnets. Know. <laughs> yeah, it's magnets. got magnets and paint on it. Don't worry. Yeah. Uh, with that, the first team building had come to a close and miserably failed. Yeah. Yeah. Why did I get put on the team with? Never mind. Because you two have some of the most. Uh, dispute so y'all are supposed to bond together fighting the others <laughs> that's bond's white brain fucking <laughs> fuck you bond <laughs> i mean at least he didn't put you in the middle with uh of like brian and nico then you would have had a real bad time <sighs> Yeah, because Nico would have gone full frontal, then Brian would have sat off to the sidelines and thrown peanuts from the peanut gallery. No kidding. <laughs> okay. In the following two days, there were two more team building exercises. The second exercise was a survival style game where they had to work together to gather large puzzle pieces and assemble them. The teams were set up the same way as the last challenge. The blue team, team Rudy. managed. Woo! The blue team being, you know, not Team Rudy. Wait, is this uh, our teams <laughs> forever? No. <laughs> okay. Oh. And the blue team managed to pull that victory with Tommy on the puzzle and the other two working fairly well together to gather the pieces. For the ch third challenge, the teams had been swapped. The new teams were Nico, Brian, and Vaughn on the red team, Jacob, Rudy, and Granger on the green team, and Tommy, Merrick, and Norman on the blue team. 
<laughs> the third event was putting together a weird puzzle ladder that could only be assembled one way. After assembling it to the proper form, where it was like, you know, the longest and not just a weird hex of ladder pieces, <laughs> yeah. um, they had to use the ladder Oh god, I lost my place. They had to use the ladder to get over two walls and ring a bell. So, like, get up the first wall, pull the ladder up, get up the second wall, ring the bell. Uh, I like these challenges. Uh, First challenge, paintball death match. Second challenge, (laughs) build a puzzle together. Third challenge, build a a ladder together. (laughs) Yeah, man. (laughs) Started off maybe a little too strong. (laughs) Tony back. I wish... I wish it was like fucking you just gave us gave us pistols at dawn on the first one and then it's like <laughs> crocheting for the second one and then like building birdhouses for the third one. Oh, God. Whoever survived became friends. <laughs> <laughs> That's Dude, how life works. This is fun little activities. <laughs> yep. First day commit murder, second day crochet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Also, everyone had to tea cozy. Everyone had to make it to the top of the um, second wall to be able to ring the bell like that. You could ring it beforehand, but it wouldn't count. Oh. Okay. So the green team managed to uh, win just in time before the red team could get up to the podium and win. The blue team didn't have as much synergy as the others, so they trailed behind a bit. Which team was which? You gotta... We were blue. Dead is red, and then Norman and the other two. Red. <laughs> are blue. So wait, <laughs> Norman me... and the other two are blue. That almost rhymes too. Wow. Who's the other? Okay, Merrick and Tommy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. So, which color are we again? Fuck. <laughs> We're green. Okay, so we red did it. We shade. did it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I got it. Okay. Uh, after pulling the victory, the red team had was salty as hell, and the green team wasn't doing much to help that, as they were quite happy with themselves. <laughs> on the fourth day, uh, or on the fourth full day aboard, they had yet another challenge. This challenge was to see how many provisions they could pack onto the life rafts in a total of three minutes. These provisions were personalized for the members of those to a degree. For the most part, it was the usual things. First aid, radio, food, drinking water. You get the picture. Additionally, there was things for each person. Uh, I actually don't get the picture. Survival stuff, you know, for a life raft. So you don't die. We're playing Titanic Simulator. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Oh, I call being a lobster. You, you, what? (laughs) What? I want to be Leo. Boy. Okay. Okay. I want to be the Titanic. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, I'll rip you in half, all right. Whoa, (laughs) my God. (laughs) Jeez. Okay. Additionally, there were things for each person. For us here in the story, there was a bow, a large quiver of arrows, a lumber axe, a machete, and some cooking pots and utensils. Each group was told to just hurriedly put the things into the raft. They didn't have to be neat or orderly. After they finished, they would have a follow-up follow up challenge of putting away all of the things neatly. Each team worked dig- diligently to get everything onto their rafts, and as the clock rang out marking three minutes, each team had just finished putting it all aboard. So each team was told that it was a tie, and they have to move fast to win at putting everything away. Each team had four minutes to put their items away. They all went to work, and after three minutes, everyone was mostly done with only a loose item here or there, when each life raft simultaneously plunged from the ship and into the water with everyone still aboard. The ship continued moving on without them, and with that, they drifted out into the water, unsure of what was going to happen next. Oh, no. To be continued. Oh, no. It looks like... Oh, no. <laughs> this is a murder cruise, but we're gonna be dying from like not being able su- to survive. Yeah, this is. Did, did I, I hey, Jacob, Jacob? Jacob? Huh? Did I at least bring at least one anime pillow with me? <laughs> yeah, of course. Did I bring that was like, part of your provisions. Good. No. <sighs> Fuck. 
God damn it. How am I supposed to run now? Can't you get outside? Impossible. You mean on a life raft? Wait, you're wait, right. Wait. You how, did the, how did the cruise ship get past us if Green just hamstered me with powering me? <laughs> that was just you people joking? Uh, no. No. My shadow form did it. Also, there are <laughs> staff members aboard. They could just power it if that's your single concern. <laughs> No one can run as fast as Granger while eating saltine crackers. <laughs> I mean, you're right, but they don't have to be eating the saltine Wait, crackers. Bon wasn't aboard, right? Of the th or wasn't one of the th on the three things? On the three life rafts? Yeah, he was. Wait, which team was he in? Oh, yeah, he was. Never mind. He's red. Red is dead. Yeah. I Why would he abandon himself? <laughs> team boy. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> It, it, <laughs> that you know, I'm I'm just saying. While I'm dying of dysentery, the last thing I want to see, the last thing I want to see, is Nico dying of dysentery like three feet away from me. <laughs> Why would we that be the last thing you want to see? Don't you want to confirm it? <laughs> what? What? I, I mean, I want to live more than that. <laughs> but you got a good point. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. I'm half tempted to say the title of the next one, but I don't Can't know. I feel like it. that's the most spoilery of like the three names. The mass dying. <laughs> Far cry. The hamster wheel returns. Uh, I'm assuming that the next. <laughs> the hamster wheel. Granger's a survival. Anything. He ran across the water. He found three seconds <laughs> and ran so fast he I'm ran like, across Jesus, the water. I'm like Jesus, but a hamster. <laughs> he has a Zorby ball, dude. He can survive anything. All right, there's literally no chance. But if any of you guess the name of the title, I'll tell you you're right. Everybody has one guess. The survival. The, dying. the cum what? bucket Titanic adventures. The island. Wait, what did you say, Merrick? I said the mass dying. Okay. Uh, what did you say, Split? Because you haven't said anything? Far Cry 3, but stupid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the new title now. Nobody got it.